What innocent item gets suspicious if you buy too much of it? My wife owns a snow cone stand. We buy sugar in bulk. Like 400 pounds. At a time. She has been asked several times if she is making moonshine. I think I read once that a foreigner in S America got flagged as suspicious. Followed and harassed by police. What did he order in excess? Hundred. Maybe thousands. Of pounds of dental cast supplies. The stuff they once used to make 3D imprints of your teeth. Say for a retainer or for official dental records. Turns out the guy was a paleontologist and used it to safely ship samples to his lab. When the gov figured it out they rolled out their first ever permits for paleontological digs. Fertilizer or Sudafed. Had a friend who was a gym rat and health food nut. We were in the military stationed overseas and shopped at the unbase commissary. Grocery store. He got on this kick that baby food was healthier. No added sugar or salt. Pure. Ingredients. Easy to digest, etc. He would buy jars of the fruits or veggies as snacks. Eventually he decided it was easier to buy them in bulk and he started buying huge quantities at a time. He was not married and had no children so he was flagged by the commissary as a potential black market supplier. There was this massive investigation and in the end they just had to admit that he was a weirdo who liked baby food. They did make him stop though because it was a small base and a limited supply. So I used to work in theater. And one of the best things we would use to keep sweat from getting into wireless microphone packs are unlubricated condoms. They stretch are pretty waterproof and cheap enough to just have a stock you can blow through. These same mic packs also use 9V batteries. Needless to say one day our stage manager had to run out after a matinee to restock. I can't imagine what someone with no context would think of someone buying 10 packs of 9V batteries and god knows how many unlubricated condoms. Canned air dusters, last time this question was asked I learned some people apparently get high off these. Nails with pipes. When I was at Home Depot we literally had to sit through training on this. And were told to notify our superiors if we saw anyone buying large quantities. This was sometime after the Boston bombing. 1 milliliter of trifluoroacetic acid. Clearly just making some aqueous buffer. 1 barrel of TFA. How many bodies were you planning on dissolving? Baking soda. Apparently. We used massive quantities of it at my old job for deflocculating soil samples and I would order or pick it up it from Sam's by the hundreds of pounds. Like as much as the truck could safely carry. Got weird looks and tons of questions every single time. Had to just say we use it for science and hope they didn't think it was somehow drug related lol. For some reason we almost always got asked if we were cooks. Like what cook is using that much baking soda? Lol. Two years ago. My brother's water line broke. In his front yard. So he calls me to go with him to buy some tools to do the job. Free labor right. So as I am headed to meet with him I break a glass cup and sweep it up and hurry along. He is inside the store. I meet up with him and at the checkout line after I get some rope and duct tape to tie some things down in my garage to clean it up. Tape and zip ties for my son's bike. I get to the register and he tells me to just throw it in his cart. His way of paying for my future free labor. That's when I see the cashier's face. I had a small cut on my arm that had slowly bleed. I didn't notice and my shirt had a nice blood stain too. Here is two dudes with old clothes on. Buying shovels. Duct tape. Zip ties and WD-40. We laughed and didn't bother to explain. Nothing happened. But that lady never forgot out face. I think she is still waiting to see if we come up in the news. Honestly anything. 37 pineapples. Suspicious AF. 183 garden gnomes. Definitely cult ritual shit. When I was younger I thought it'd be a romantic Valentine's Day gesture to give the girl I was seeing a milk bath. I know. Dumb. Something I saw on TV. I unloaded them at her place and went to go buy flowers and candy. She came home to find 30 gallons of milk arranged in rows next to her front door. V day was over and we were done. She even made me get rid of all the milk. Hamsters, other small animals. Bleach. Basically anything. You walk up to the cashier and buy 100 of anything. You're gonna look weird and suspicious. 100 cakes. The hell is going on at his house? 100 cans of raid bug killer. 100 bottles of vitamin A. 100 cucumbers. What in the anal hell is going on? 1 to 4 smoke detectors. 
responsible homeowner hundreds or thousands of smoke detectors, making a homemade neutron source. Nutmeg. Seriously. It's a controlled substance in some Mideast countries. Lighter fluid. Syringes. For my mom's insulin. Candles. If they're black or red then bonus points. Duct tape. Our dog rips her toys apart. So we buy used stuffed animals at Salvation Army. My husband says that when he goes alone. He gets weird looks when he goes up to the counter with 20 or so teddy bears. Etc. Cough syrup. Compressed air. I work in a PC repair store or whatever you wanna call it. And we often buy large quantities of compressed air bottles. Apparently people use it for interesting reasons. Acetone and mineral spirits apparently. I ordered one medium-sized bottle each from a curbside pickup at Walmart along with a regular grocery run and they made me show my ID and sign a special form that I wasn't going to do nefarious things, I guess. Machetes. Had a coupon that was good for a maximum of 12 and expired October 31st. With Christmas right around the corner, I figured I'd give M to guys that were family, friends, etc. They all loved them. But I kinda freaked the cashier out buying a dozen machetes on Halloween. Stock. Buy zero. Oh 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 one percent of a company and no one blinks an eye. Buy fifty. Oh 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 one percent and suddenly you're in charge. Eggs. Especially when combined with toilet paper. Two dozen eggs and a 12 pack of Charmin. Probably just a normal shopping trip for some staple items and the dude has a big family. A cart filled with nothing but eggs and the cheapest toilet paper the store carries. Yeah, that's a vandal. Large dog kennels. Lube. Actually, meat. Apparently meat can be used to conceal drugs. Uncle Ben's rice. It has to be whole grain and in the microwavable bags. They are used for growing magic mushrooms. Vaseline. Metallic gold spray paint. I was doing this art project where I'd take random found objects and paint them gold. And dude at the spray paint counter of the art supply was super suspect of my purchase. I guess it's like the preferred flavor for the paint huffers. Spray paint. Rope. A few years ago I was into homebrewing wines and such. I found a recipe for strawberry wine that was made from strawberry jam. USA. Jelly. Keen at get it fermenting I rushed to the local supermarket when I didn't need any other groceries. So, I'm at the checkout with just 12 jars of strawberry jam on it, and nothing else. The checkout girl looks me dead in the eye and says. Wow, that's a lot of jam. My mind goes blank. And I didn't want to admit that I was planning to brew it up into cheap wine. So I just maintain eye contact and say. Yay. I really like jam. Gaffa tape. Cough syrup kidneys. One is okay. Two is you have horrible health. Three is something illegal. Multiple cans of aerosols like deodorants. Have herds kids get high with those. And who TF would buy like five cans for any usual use. Unless it's a YouTuber. Matches. Concert tickets. In my home country we had an incident where a guy bought out the entire venue so the female singer could sing for him in private. Now you can't buy more than 5 to 10. Rope. Was getting some rope to make a rope ladder for a tree house I'm probably never gonna make and my mom and the cashier looked at me like I was red in among us. Children. Bleach and other cleaning supplies. Especially if they're buying a shovel or a saw at the same time. Poppy seeds. When I was in high school I worked at a bulk food store and there was a guy that came in every month and bought up our entire supply. About $800 worth. After about a year of this. One day two police officers showed up at the store and inquired about the. Poppy seed man. Never saw him again. Kitchen knives. Hemorrhoid cream. Can't go wrong pairing it with a few boxes of lube and a mysterious grin coupled with an daydreaming look. My girlfriend and I buy condoms twice a year. Several hundred at a time. I get smiles from the male cashiers. She gets looks of disgust from the females. When together they usually just roll their eyes. Baby powder. Bleach. 
It happened to me when I was power washing several structures on a farm and we had a last minute cancellation of the bleach delivery. Walmart called the cops on me and I had to explain what I was doing. No idea what you could do that's so harmful with bleach. But it was a weird experience. Cats. A ton of baby oil and one inflatable pool. We know what you're planning. Phones. Water is shit where I live and breastfeeding, preg women can't drink tap water. So I buy shopping carts full, no good fill station in area. Every time I check out I get asked weird questions. Keep telling myself to buy a Berkey. Pretty much anything if your name is Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Curry paste. Only BC this particular brand is erratic so I buy as much as I can when I can. And always end up getting very strange looks from the cashier. Yes. I'm as white as a saltine cracker. Yes I adore super spicy curry. Pressure cookers. One pressure cooker. That dude is probably trying to make a delicious meal. Ten pressure cookers. Terrorist. NyQuil. 